Happy Easter. In today's show, the Bitcoin price likely to plunge to $1,000, according to Silk Road founder Ross Albrich, who says forget about $100,000. He expects Bitcoin to plunge to $1,000 before another bull run. He recently shared on crypto Twitter, here's my latest Bitcoin by Ross post, a strong signal for lower prices. And in today's show, we'll be sharing his latest analysis he published here called Bitcoin by Ross, number nine, a strong signal for lower prices. Also, in today's episode, the Bitcoin halving searches break out with the biggest event in crypto just 30 days out. That's correct. 30 days, 10 hours, 33 minutes, and 50 seconds remaining. We're going to be discussing this infamous event set to occur approximately May 12th. Also, in today's episode, as you can see, all the major cryptos are surging and back in the green. Where is the Bitcoin price likely to go next? Find out all this plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. So be sure to smash that subscribe button and click that bell icon to receive notifications of the latest premium crypto news. And before we kick off today's show, if interested in attending a free online event with the number one most influential person in cryptocurrency, Charlie Shrem, to discover how traders are making 100 to 500 percent gains without making a single trade on their own. And even with all this volatility, especially in a bear market, then be sure to click the link below this video in the description for your chance to leverage the skills and expertise of Charlie Shrem. All right. Welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV, and let's dive right into today's top story of the day. Ross Albrich, the founder of the infamous Silk Road Dark Web Marketplace, spotted a strong signal for the lower Bitcoin prices. According to his new price analysis that relies on Elliott Wave Theory, the price of the leading crypto could plunge to as low as $1,200. He recently shared in this tweet, Here's my latest Bitcoin by Ross post, a strong signal for lower prices. And we're going to just break this down. I'm going to give you some of the highlights of this analysis. And I also included this in the show notes below the video in the description for you to check it out and reference for yourself. But let's get right back to the highlights, shall we? Bitcoin's third bear market could end this June. Albrich states that Bitcoin is currently in the last stage of its first cycle degree bear market. Wave two is comprised of three primary degree waves, which wave C being the largest one. It's not clear how low wave two can go, but Albrich notes that the two previous bear markets resulted in 86% and 96% drawdowns, which means that there is more pain in store for the bulls. Hence, he notes that a similar price plunge could take Bitcoin all the way down to $1,200. Now, what are your thoughts? Do you think it's likely for Bitcoin to revisit these extreme lows? I would love to know your thoughts in the comments right down below. According to Albrich, it's hard to estimate the duration of this bear market, but based on the historical data, it could end this June. Here's what he's quoted saying. Estimating the extent and duration of wave two is difficult and imprecise. There is no limit to how low it can go except zero because wave one started at zero. Albrich also says that Bitcoin could invest validate this bearish scenario if its price surges back above $14,000, which was its last year high in 2019. However, this turnaround seems unlikely to him. Here's what he said. If the price rises above the peak near 14,000, we will have to reevaluate our interpretation. But at this point, that seems like a very unlikely scenario. Back in December, Albrich predicted that Bitcoin could surge to $100,000 in 2020, but the drop below the start of wave Wave two, which was the $4,200 mark on March 12th, made a bullish scenario improbable. However, if Bitcoin were to drop to this level, Albrich would view it as a major buying opportunity before the start of wave three. And for the full analysis entitled A Strong Signal for Lower Prices, be sure to check the description right down below this video to check it out for yourself. Here's what he ended it with. As noted before, the end of wave two will be accompanied by extreme pessimism and possibly antagonism toward Bitcoin on par with the extreme optimism that accompanied the end of wave one. It will take fortitude to buy in such an environment. 
that might be the environment we're in right now, but the rewards as wave three takes prices to new highs will be well worth it. And now for our next story of the day, the Bitcoin having searches break out with the biggest event in crypto just 30 days away. The Bitcoin having countdown has reached the one month mark with estimates targeting 29 to 31 days left to go. The having event will reduce the amount of new Bitcoin entering the circulating supply by dropping mining rewards by 50%. The event has triggered increasing interest as central banks resort to money printing. Money printers go brrr. To counter the economic blow of the coronavirus, the keywords Bitcoin having countdown, Bitcoin having price chart, and Bitcoin having clock are all currently trending on Google as breakout searches in the United States. Bitcoin having prediction, Bitcoin having price prediction, and Bitcoin having 2020 are all breakout searches worldwide. As you can see, the stats for Bitcoin having in the Google search and around the globe, Slovenia, St. Helena, Switzerland, Singapore, and the Netherlands lead the world in Bitcoin having searches, according to Google Trends, with South Africa and Venezuela rounding out the top 10. Bitcoin has a fixed supply, as we all know, of 21 million units. That number cannot be adjusted by any central authority. Supporters say that Bitcoin will prove itself as a viable alternative to world currencies. I do truly believe that. Central bankers and politicians, by creating a sound form of money, it is the hardest form of money. And against the backdrop of quantitative easing, the highly volatile and decentralized asset remains resistant to a supply surge. With an uptick in interest, the Bitcoin halving is expected to add supply pressure when it begins next month around May 11th. How the halving will affect the price is largely disputed with some analysts saying that the having will have little to no impact since the event has already been priced in. Now, personally, I do not feel that the event has been priced in whatsoever. So I'm just throwing out my two Satoshi. James Tadero, head research at Trade Block, anticipates a price rise. Here's what he had to say. Following the Bitcoin having miners estimated break-even costs will rise from $7,000 today to twelve to $15,000 per Bitcoin after. I would not be surprised if we see Bitcoin prices rise above these levels so that the miners remain profitable. And I'm in agreement 100%, but I'd love to know what you think. Let me know in the comments right down below. Also, crypto analyst Plan B, who popularized the stock to flow model to predict the price of Bitcoin, breaks down why he believes Bitcoin is on a trajectory to the upside. Here's what he had to say. To maintain 7,000 since October 2017, Bitcoin must have had about 400 million in in new cash inflow every month for the last two and a half years. Well, after the halving, we only need 200 million per month to keep the $7,000 level. If 400 million stays, then rock it. In the long term, the founder of Social Capital and former Facebook executive, Shamath P, says that Bitcoin will either moon or die, giving the king coin a 5 to 10% chance of soaring to millions of dollars. And now taking a look at the overall cryptocurrency market. As you can see, most of the major cryptos are surging back in the green, with Bitcoin up 0.68% trading at $6,900. Even Ethereum is up 0.94%, trading just below $160. XRP up 2%, trading at $0.19. Cents. Link is up 1.6%, trading at $3.30. Miss Litecoin up 1%, trading at $42.84. Satoshi Vision up 1.7%, trading at $187. And Bitcoin Cash up 0.16%, trading at $233. Now taking a look at the overall cryptocurrency market cap. As you can see, we're sitting at 197 billion. So just under that $200 billion mark with 105 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. And the current BTC dominance is 64 point one percent and now taking a look at the top gainers within the top 100 we have cybervane leading the pack up eight percent trading at three cents bitcoin gold up five percent trading at ten dollars seal up four point six percent trading at seven point two cents terra up four percent trading at seventeen point four cents status up three point four nine percent trading at one point six cents and ziliqua up two point three percent trading at point zero zero four and now 
now for the biggest losers digitex futures down 10 percent trading at four cents quant down six percent trading at four dollars and 32 cents golem down four percent trading at 3.8 cents maker down four percent trading at 310 dollars digibyte down two percent trading at 0 0.006 and auger down 1.55 percent trading at nine dollars and 88 cents and now checking out the bitmex margins as you can see the bulls are back in control leading with about 42 million in superiority in the last 24 hours with longs leading 51.92% versus 48.08% shorts. Are you currently bullish or bearish on Bitcoin? Let me know your thoughts in the comments right down below. And now checking out one of my favorite indicators, the Crypto Greed and Fear Index shows we're currently rated a 10 in extreme fear. Yesterday was a 15, last week a 12, and last month a 9, all of which is in extreme fear. And if you're not familiar with the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, extreme fear, which is where we're currently at, could be a sign that investors are too worried. That can be a great buying opportunity. And when investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due for a correction. And now let's check out the Bitcoin block reward having countdown. We have an estimated 30 days, 10 hours, 14 minutes, and 20 seconds remaining until the estimated date of the Bitcoin having set to be May 12th at this time. Now leading up to this historic event, I personally expect the Bitcoin price to continue to rise. I do not feel that we will revisit new all-time lows for the year. I don't see Bitcoin dropping to $1,000, but if it did, as Ross Albrich pointed out, it would be an excellent buying opportunity to accumulate. I've been in accumulation mode for the past three years. Nothing's going to change that. I do feel very bullish. I do feel that the Bitcoin price will surpass its all time high this year, at least retest it and surpass last year's all time high of $14,000. But anyways, those are my two Satoshis. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments right down below. And I want to encourage you to check out the description right below this video by clicking show more in the description right down below for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the market. And this goes for all of the videos here on my channel. I also have some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including the blog to my podcast, which could be found at crypto news yes.com not only is this updated every day it allows you to download the latest episode of the podcast also be sure to subscribe on youtube if you haven't yet already done so it helps out tremendously and i greatly appreciate your support also if you're on any of the major podcasting platforms including apple's itunes spotify google play stitcher radio please help support the show it's greatly appreciated you can also follow us on twitter to receive daily crypto news alerts my twitter handle is crypto news yes and i also have a private crypto facebook group to become a part of this simply click this link request to join. I'll be sure to plug you in. And I also have a crypto telegram chat, which I'm very active on. To become a part of this, simply click this link specifically from a mobile device and you'll automatically be added. And I'm looking forward to connecting with you on the inside. Well, that's going to conclude today's Easter crypto news alerts special. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto revolution. If you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button and click that bell icon to receive notifications of the latest premium crypto news. And real quick, before I go, if interested in attending this free online event with the number one most influential person in cryptocurrency, Charlie Shrem, to discover how traders are making 100 to 500% gains without making a single trade on their own, leveraging the skills and talents of the one and only Bitcoin legend, Charlie Shrem, then be sure to click the link right down below this video in the description. And I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.